Hello everybody, welcome to another game of NAF Ladder up against Jomini with uh, Old World Alliance, another Old World Alliance opponent with Sweltering Heat by the looks of it. Yep, Sweltering Heat, so this is going to be rough. He's got 13 players, so not really affected by it. And he's got a pro tree um, with cosmetics on, so that's lovely, isn't it? And uh, yeah, it's probably going to be a tough game. And in the booth there is Dimmy G and Elliot. Hello, guys. Glorious. No, I won't oh, give in until I'm victorious. <laughs> and I will defend. I will defend. Wankers. Oui. Um, but <laughs> thank you, Iron Sirius, for staying the fantastic. Demonetized. <laughs> 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 You can say wankers, that's not demonetized. Is it not? bollocks. I thought you weren't supposed to swear for like the first minute or something. Like no, it's it's even less than that. It's even less than the first minute. I'll tell you how long it is. Wank. <laughs> that was wankers after about a minute. Let's have a look. Let me tell you. Seven seconds. Oh. Seven seconds? Yeah. That was not... Wankers after seven seconds? Yeah. Wankers... No, se wankers seven seconds into the start of the video. Yeah, it's only seven seconds. Stronger... No, no, this... It took me about a minute to say oh. wankers. Oh, the, I thought you said... Ah, oh, right. The, the demonetized thing is stronger profanity, like fuck, used in the first seven seconds, or moderate profanity, like shit, in the title or thumbnail. <laughs> uh, but also, oh, focal out. usage of profanity throughout a video, such as profanity used in most sentences. Wankers, 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 <laughs> wankers, 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 <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> oh god! And then there's extreme profanity. Is the is the third one, which is you know things that you know you shouldn't say. Absolute fucking wankers. <laughs> <laughs> so you just go. made me look not all over. The <laughs> <laughs> Holy! Oh wait. <laughs> Oh, oh, wankers! Ah! Fuck's sake. I can't even apple that, can I? Oh no, it's a bad idea. I can't apple it. I will apple it. Who did you play to? Sounds like a fun game. No, new electric balls rules. Electric balls? Wait, what? Euro oh no, ball. Euro ball. Okay. Oh, electric balls. <laughs> <laughs> Wanker. <laughs> yeah, it's weird that the playing games have been required because it's really not, right? At the end of the day. It doesn't require games played at all. Like no. any fucking person who's played like any amount of Blood Bowl will know. <clears throat> Well, also, like, you, you know, you can just get wildly different things off some games. Like, you know what I mean? If you play ten games, you're more likely just to be, like, you know, swayed by the events of those ten games. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The whole testing thing is so weird. Yeah. Like, unless you, like, really do lots of stuff. But... Vigorous. Vigorous. Did I just take three vigorous? players removed? Oh no, this one didn't. I've just stood up one up. I saw him and I was like, well, he stood up, but I'd literally just stood him up. So. <laughs> Second half actually was kind of fun. Or are you just fouling every turn with DP sneaking it? God, it sounds awful. Sounds fun to me. <laughs> oh my god. What? How has this happened? 
Oh, I just cut it off the last guy. All right. My pro elves' legs are not like secure. Oh no! It's like they're all right if you don't touch them hard. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> no, I'll just leave them to set overnight. I'm sure they'll be fine. But I must. <clears throat> Vigorously wanking, yep. Mm. Pretty much. Oh, you played against Captain Oates. Nice. Yeah. What yeah, race absolutely. did you play as? My opponent's mighty blow tackle. So I'm guessing you're Amazons? And he is... Anything really? Humans, maybe? Maybe he's halflings. He was humans. I was pro elves. PC. I don't think they're going to drop. I think, like, I honestly don't think it's going to change that much at all. Glorious. No, I won't give Ooh, in pick. until I'm victorious. I mean, and I will pick. defend. No, no, I, I didn't. will defend. It's an anonymous sub, isn't it? Yeah, but Trick Pick's not anonymous. No. <laughs> but PC, who gave the anonymous sub, is. No, Wait. I'm joking. I'm joking. <laughs> I'm joking. How sure is PC? I don't, I don't know, it's, it's anonymous, isn't it? So it's like, well, I was just joking to call him out. I, I've seen a PC given, I think Jackball and PC, I've, I've seen given anonymous subs, but it might be someone else. Yeah. I am here. Ladder? I mean, is it like a normal ladder you queue for your opponent and you schedule games? Yeah, so you need to join the, well, you don't, well, you know, you do need to join the Discord. Um, I'll drop a link in two seconds. I've just got glue all over my hands. Uh, uh, Copy. So if you join this Discord, uh, there's a load of channels explaining uh, what the rules are. You make a team. You send a picture of the team to an admin who will accept it. And then it's like a spin ladder, but there is also a channel. So if you want to play against someone, because it like Jim's just randomly pressing spin and getting games, which is rare. Like normally you have to just at people and say that I'm spinning. And then someone will just say, yeah, I'll spin with you. But this is, what is this Jim? This is the World Cup rule. So this is the rules for the, uh, it's not World Cup. What is it? What's world the championship the world championship so there's a massive tournament that 64 people or is it 128 or whatever it's 64 there's 64 people with all earned tickets from randoming or various levels of difficult competitions <laughs> <laughs> that's one way of saying it didn't so there, yes? <laughs> some people have like won really high level competitions to qualify others have been in a competition <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> uh, and there's, there's a there's I, from i think it's from like the end of october early november all the way through december there's going to be like a knockout competition with it's like world cup style i believe you've got like four teams in a group top two go through so then it breaks it down into 32 and then it will be like a bracket i guess is, is it double double elimination again or is no it? it's not it's just so what it is is um yeah, as demi says it's world cup groups then um so it starts on the 27th of october random groups then the top half go through then what happens is it's like a two-legged affair and then after the two legs if no, there's a winner decided draws. like a win and a draw or two wins then they then they go through but if there was like two draws or a win and a loss then they play a third decisive game with overtime rules. And uh, so the, that'll yeah. be the round of 32 and the round of 16. And then when it gets to the final eight, um, the the last, the final eight will take place um, over one weekend, three days of intensive blood bowling, where 
there will be you know a casting team in Montpellier um, doing it all live so that will be amazing there you go. yeah and uh, this rule set on that discord is based on the same rule set for that competition yeah mm. so like last season it was based on Euro Bowl in Greece's rules wasn't it yes yeah and then this season it's based on that World Cup's rules so like they have different varying seasons where they do different rule sets which are similar to a competition that's coming up. Yeah. Ah, oh, shit. Yeah, basically, yeah. Uh, it's, mate, like, it's just going to be foul meta, isn't it? The uh, New York. Which is just really shit because it's like, my least favourite <laughs> thing to do in football. Is turn up and get stamped on every turn. <laughs> by someone who has no idea what they're doing and they win anyway. Hungarian rules soonish. Uh, I don't know. I'm assuming they'll be on there at some point. They said that they're going to do a new draft, didn't they, in November or something? Like the 10th of November is when they're going to do... They, the, the guy said, he posted today and said that they're going to do Twitch streams and talk about the rule sets and what's changing and stuff. So, I mean, it's pretty cool. Hopefully, there is quite a bit of changing to do. Um... If there's not, whatever. Uh, it's up to them, isn't it? <clears throat> but I think it's cool that they're moving in that direction to have conversations with people and actually put it out there, like so people can see it and stuff. But like, I yes. think, like, yeah, that's, really that's good. definitely it's definitely the right direction for Blood Bowl and like competitions. It should be like open to the people and like whatever. And so, so that is really positive, but. I mean, the rule set itself, I, I personally, I'm not a fan of what I've seen so far. No. Be political, to be political. I'm definitely yeah. not a fan, to say the least. They listen to feedback, that is nice. Yeah, they have changed a few things. I mean, the first draft was mental. <laughs> 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 Literally. But the, the thing is, is I think they've done it the right way, because this rule set, I'd be, like, really shocked by it. But the fact that they had the one before this... Was yeah. so shocking that like there's certain things in there that you're going oh that's okay when it's not okay but you're saying it's okay because you've seen the first version of the madness. Yeah. They... yeah. So like it's you, you need to like it's like when you set the bar like they've set the bar so mental that like you're looking at this new thing thinking it's reasonable whereas if this was the new thing before you saw the mentalness you'd say that this was completely unreasonable. Yes, I, I agree 100%. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, like, they've, they've already started the right way if they do want to do what they're doing. I should have just done dodge the dodge. Is there Snurdy in there? <laughs> oh, my God. I'm going to start banning people. There's saying. actually oh, not Snurdy. It's actually triple skull. There should be a Snurdy with OWA. No, no, yeah, Snurdy is, Snurdy is banned about, with the World Championship oh. rules. They banned Snurdy. There's oh, a specific anti-snurty rule, and it Who works. Wrote the world championship rule. Oh, it was the cyanide guy, wasn't it? Um, I, I don't know exactly who, but you know somebody involved with them. Do they say rookie? Yeah, probably. No, 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 they don't. Because I say rookie. No, they're definitely not. <laughs> yeah, that's what I was asking. Rookie. I was like, was it you? <laughs> no, I've had nothing to do with it. I've definitely oh, had okay. nothing to do with it. But um, but um, not with a bribe. Yeah, but he doesn't need a bribe, really. It's already like a one in six so to get sent off. But he says it is allowed. No, no, no. So no, Triple Skulls, be... Triple Skull has asked, "Is there Snurty in there?" Right, which is asking a question, implying in question, uh, implying asking a question about this, not Euro Ball. Yeah, he's talking about Snur the World Cup. Snurty is allowed in Euro Ball, just not with a bribe. Oh. But in this, Snurty isn't allowed at all. Right. <laughs> <laughs> it is simply not possible to take snurty if you're snut or erty already. <laughs> it's simply not possible to take snurty seriously. <laughs> <laughs> yes, we're talking about the World Championship in Blood Bowl 3 Triple Skull. Which is what the rules this is for. Yeah, we were talking about a few bits. Really. Yeah. 
And we were talking about the NAF ladder. Yeah, the NAF ladder. With the, yeah, so this is the, this NAF ladder is World Championship Brewers. Which is in a week's time, it starts? Yeah, really? yeah, well, nine days. The World Championship know? starts in a week, holy fuck. Nine days. Well, yeah, nine days. Yeah. In two days. Well, in fact, no, tomorrow they'll find out the last qualifiers. It's going to be annoying because I'm going to actually have to support Jim for that one. Oh my god, he. he oh no, he prodded and pounded uh -huh. me! Oh my uh -huh. god! Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Fucking dice! I hope he oh, dies. Pee. Get him! He doesn't Get him! Me. Oh, boo. Jesus, uh, that was some bullshit. You make Why didn't he follow? Hello. Weirdness. Weirdness. Oh, he's. <gasps> Good. I just can't roll dice. I just I shouldn't I shouldn't use ours. Simple as that. <laughs> oh my god, you're gonna get beaten by OWA. This is amazing. Yeah. I mean, we thought this last game we didn't sadly. Yeah. We'll I'm dice. gonna lose this game. Yeah. How many players you got? Two. About five. You just fucking cast everybody. Well, I didn't cast everybody. Kill. You got seven players, have you? Eight now. Oh, he's KO two. And then I'm gonna get fucking heated as well. So it's fucked. Swap to undead? No, I, they knobs are OP. Undead are just strong. Mm. I don't really like undead. I mean, I do have an undead team, so I could use undead. But... You, you prefer necro, though, don't you? I think there's going to be a load of Necro. Is is the Necro build in this the same as the Eurobolt build? Like the four guard, the two block? No, and it's the... worse. It's worse. It's uh, not quite as okay. good, so I'm not going. I mean, I could just go Well, no. This. What I was saying is is if that is the same, you don't prob you probably don't want to play Undead because there'll be loads of Necro, and that Necro mm. build is probably better against Undead than... Yeah, PC is talking about <laughs> just to confuse it. Triple score was talking about something else. Now PC's talking about something else. As well. <laughs> is PC asking you about what you should play in the World Cup, or in the Cup World Championship? Or no, no. Oh, oh, is he talking about what you're playing on tabletop or something? Yeah. No. Oh. I hope they get. I hope they nerf him soon. Yeah. Wow. You big yeah. meanie. Well, I've played them, haven't I? I've played them. I just, uh, if I can win a game with them, they're clearly OP. <laughs> <sighs> Necro okay. won't be... What is this? Necro won't be free for Jim for the event I'm talking about. Ooh, what event are you talking about? Um, oh, well. UKTC. UKTC. I mean, I, we didn't we didn't talk about whether we should talk about it or not. Um, oh yeah, sorry. But you and PC are obviously talking about it. <laughs> <laughs> but PC has started talking about it, so um, yeah, we've you know I, we've developed this team to play Blood Bowl that is good at Blood Bowl. <laughs> yeah. Good luck looking after Jim and PC. Yeah. Thanks. Oh, it's alright, it's alright. <clears throat> it's a very good team. Yeah, I can imagine it will be, yeah. Three of the players are good. One shit. Well, as long as I can carry you, mate. Yeah. yeah. As long as I just don't take Dark Elves ever. Basically, I just think... I think I just you can't... Just, roll like, I, I, I strongly recommend... You get yourself to a tabletop tournament before you go and just roll some dice. I know how to roll right. dice, didn't you? No, but just like getting the feel of it and the flow of it. Like, you need table time, Jim. Like, honestly, like that's that's my thing. Is like since I joined my league, I'm not playing like super highly competitive games, but I'm playing on the table and like getting used to it. And like my tournament. Performances are getting better gradually. Although I am, I've taken like a decent race in the last two or three. <laughs> I've also stopped playing knobs. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I took knobs to my last one. <laughs> but knobs are OP, right? Yeah. 
Yeah, right. that, that was the right. plan, Niagara, but it, that plan's looking less interesting, seeing as I'm getting shit on every single game. And I'm not really happy with any of the builds, because none of the builds work out nicely, right? Did you get six block Saurus? No. I mean, well, oh, yeah, yeah, I could just do lizards. I could just do lizards. Will King looks like he's got a chance of winning, doesn't he, with lizards in the NAF Cup? Yeah, I, like, even if I beat the Orcs, I don't fancy lizards. Yeah, he, either one he plays, he's looking pretty nice. And he's already in the final, so that already makes him favourite, right? Yeah. Oh, I've got to play that Orc guy tomorrow. I've got a mint message mm. Okay. Okay. Like for the same reason as ODL is is favourite for Super League because he's already in the finals. Like you have to be already you have to be the final. When, you have to be the favourite when you're in the final and the other two aren't. So well, he's um, beat the best player in BBSL history as well, is not he? So, you know. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> Kick lizard. I might just go lizards. Like the problem is, if you go lizards, you can just like. So the thing that I liked about Dark Elves is. They don't have any auto lose games, whereas all of the other good teams. I mean, this is looking pretty auto lose to me. <laughs> it's, not, it's not an auto lose matchup, is it? It's not an auto lose. It's matchup. not an auto lose matchup, no. But uh, yeah. I mean, yeah. Just take Dark Elves, Jimmy. Just take Dark Elves. <laughs> I mean, you might. You just gotta make sure you play alright. That's the thing, yeah. Lizards have like one or two bad matchups. But yeah. There's probably going to be a ton of woodies, right? I'd imagine there's going to be. Oh, at least, stunned, fucking. At least six woody teams. I'd imagine. Yeah, it makes sense to take woodies. Is Strider in this? He is, isn't he? You've got Strider, Deermed, yeah. you. Oh, mate, can you imagine it's like a group with you, Strider, Deermed, and Davo, and then there's all these random people in all these other groups. Like, yeah, yeah, I won't be happy if that's the case, to be honest. <laughs> I mean, like, it might happen. It, like, at the end of the day, you just got to back yourself, haven't you? You've got to uh, have faith in your ability as a Blood Bowl coach. And I do. Hope the, hope the dice don't fuck you. I mean, I definitely do have faith in myself, but, um... Oh, hello, Oates. Uh, Talks already revealed the secrets of your <laughs> test game. <laughs> <laughs> Just win the toss bowl, snooze fest. Yeah. I mean, 2020 is like that in general, even without levels. So I, I find that winning the toss often has a strong bearing on who wins the game. Which is completely wrong. But I, I mean, what a strange <laughs> thing to think. I haven't lost four players at all on this try. Did you lose the top? So you did, didn't you? Yeah. <laughs> I've just been <laughs> shit on. <laughs> Lose the toss, get shit on. So yes, I, I completely agree. Yeah. Just 2020 in my experience. This guy hasn't gone anywhere. I should have put him in the scoring range. Shouldn't I actually should have had a canoeing threat. Mm. You've done alright though. That was a decent turn. Mm -hmm. That's probably not enough, but it's something. I feel about as enthusiastic as uh, Elliot Jimmy? moving to Leeds. <laughs> I'm enthusiastic, damn it! <laughs> you are you are so non enthusiastic about me. I've got fucking Todd's lighters, I'm on antibiotics and tired oh, sad. Oh, oh sorry. How many yeah. how many times have you had Todd's lighters? Like the second time? Oh really? You'll be yeah. getting it more in Leeds. Oh, hey. <laughs> <laughs> Though it is frowned upon. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Yeah. That's the thing is, if you haven't got a tackle mighty blow, you need a sneaky get dirty player to foul their tackle mighty blow. Oh, you need snurty. Snurty is better. is better yeah. than mackle. <laughs> what? <laughs> mackle. <laughs> mackle. <laughs> oh my god! No. I'm, not, 
I'm not gonna be able to deal with this. I'm gonna just quit casting. I can't even hear this shit anymore. I'm gonna go watch League of Legends. <laughs> Fuck this shit, I'm out. Problem is, no amount of games are. Um, who said that? Talking about it. Like this is the thing. Like no amount of games are represented. Like it's just testing is testing is pointless, meaningless, nonsense. Oh shit! That was one was meant to. F oh fuck you! The guy here was gonna assist. Oh, I get blitzed anyway. Of course I do. Brilliant. Brilliant. F <laughs> fuck all. <laughs> Fumble risking a tackle. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. <laughs> oh god. I mean, not I think until. a winner. <laughs> yeah, that's really good. Um, the, the sure hands catch and tackle is a good combo, though. Which is Hancock. <laughs> That's pretty good. But, um, yeah. No, I know you said it as you were talking about it, but the thing is, like, even if it was, like, you know, you know, even if you were try just trying to test things, just doesn't work. Because, you know, if you, if you like, were, I don't know, completely open-minded and stuff, and it was, like, you know, you thought you were testing, if you, if you, the chance of you finding out the right things in like six games or whatever is like ten games even is just ludicrously small, isn't there? Because there's so many decisions and dice, and it's just like, and if somebody, if somebody like you know, their their conclusions that they come to aren't really necessarily going to be better than the ones that other people just think of with their brains. So it's like it's just pointless. They obviously don't play Blood Bowl Free Ladder. Exactly. Right, I need a cup of tea. I start. I put on the kettle, and then forgot to make it. What a dickhead. Yep, I agree. Just test it. It will be fine. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, the stated aims here. <coughs> We'll see. We'll see what happens. They, they said they're going to do a new version of it in November, right? Tenth of November or something. I I don't think it's going to change drastically, which is what I would like to see. But who cares? Maybe, Jock, maybe. Yeah, they should put the limit on the stacking. I mean, like, whatever. They should just do what they want to do, really. Maybe. Right, I'll back some. He didn't move the one that's about to get served. Stop the tree! Yes! <laughs> Terrible game. Six. 
I mean, I can't block him, can I? So I might as well stab him. Oh, fuck off. <laughs> what, what? No! What are you doing? Oh my god. Oh, did you not see that you got a timer? Ah, oh, fuck. You <laughs> dirty dog. <laughs> <laughs> oh, of course there's three this time. <laughs> three, four, five, six, seven players versus ten. Jesus. Whatever crap they serve up. I swear, mm. right? I don't know if this is any way related. So don't say I'm the start of rumour spreading. But I swear I saw Olivier Delac saying somewhere that he's taken a year out of Europe. Yeah, I, I saw that as well. Yeah. yeah, and then like a day later the rule set got released. <laughs> <laughs> and I was like... <laughs> I wonder if there's correlation between <laughs> his decision to take a break from Europol yeah. uh, and him knowing what the rule set was. Yeah, and uh, I'm with Captain Oates and uh, Tokamada and that, yeah, and BB Jock. Yeah, that's that's particularly their stated aims and then what they've chosen doesn't even re remotely support those aims. Yeah, that's the craziest thing. It's just it's just weird. And like, okay, anyway, they can yeah. they can change it loads and stuff, but like. I feel like the fundamental. I feel I like the fundamental yeah, things I don't aren't going to change. Why do they not have like a a committee that makes the rule set? They do have a committee. That, no, but they, the committee doesn't make the rule set. They just make sure it's within the NAF guidelines, and then they? they can give a, they can give advice on what they think would improve it and stuff. But it doesn't like have to be as long as it's within the NAF guidelines. I'm pretty sure they're. Right to do that's not to do with the committee though, right? The committee's like the captains of the Eurobowl and stuff, so they just go, no, it looks good to me. Or they say, no, it doesn't look good. Like, yeah. it's got to follow the NAF rules to be NAF, hasn't it? Whatever it Extra means. guidelines, more than NAF. Yeah, yeah. Like, it's got to be NAF to be NAF. <laughs> yeah, well, Glorious. Is NAF, yeah. No, I won't give in until I'm victorious and I will defend. I will defend. Yeah, I don't know. We'll see. Hmm. Eurobowl committee is nothing to do with now. What are yeah. you on about, Barney? Well, because you said they've got a they've the committee to make sure it's enough. Thing. Well, there's there's guidelines set by NAF, right? Yeah, but that's NAF. nothing to do with the committee, though. Yeah, but the and committee then NAF is and... nothing to do with. Well the, the well, the committee, are there to make sure that they're within the guidelines set by the NAF, no? No, you don't need a committee, do you? You didn't need a committee to to run the tournament, did you? Attack Cowboy, thank you very much. Tier 1, three months in advance. Glorious. Welcome to Team Fantastic. Full war. Like, it's just a tournament like any other, right? And you don't need... You need NAF... Right, for my tournament, you have to send it for NAF approval. Yeah, but you didn't need a committee, though. That's what I'm saying, right? The committee has nothing to do with... No, no, no. There's a Eurobowl committee, yeah. Because yeah. I know it's, it's Joe Manji, isn't it? And then uh, Janinu. 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 He's the Maltese geezer. He's the... <laughs> Janinu. I remember he used to play for Middlesbrough. No, he plays for Malta. Janino used to play for Middlesbrough. He used to be pretty good as well. Yeah, he was good. Wow. Oh my god, it doesn't even need to be NAF compliant? What the fuck? I didn't know that. There you go. That's fucking madness. Back room for the draw. You really have a. You're allergic to winning games, aren't you? <laughs> That's incredible, BB Joe. <laughs> when you start to play a lizard, you take six blocks, it's easier. When you master lizard, three or four blocks are the best choice. I mean, oh. honestly, if you're that completely deranged that you believe that, then why limit them to four block anyway? 
<laughs> I, I, I've got a feeling I know who that guy is. Yes, and, I've got uh, a feeling too. And uh, have you checked his NAF record? Oh no, it's a different it's, one, uh, Bad Storm. I don't know who he is. I oh, haven't. Well, I, haven't checked his, I haven't checked his NAF record. No, I haven't. But there was a guy who was spouting all kinds of wild mm. stuff, and I looked at his NAF record, and like his only winning win, win rate race was Snotling, <laughs> which is obviously <laughs> with Mega Stars. And then I think he had Orcs, which were like slightly over 50%, and then he just had like four other races. He was like sub 50%. Like, this is so insane, right? This guy also said, <laughs> funnily enough, exactly opposite of me and Elliot yesterday, so I'll let you be the judge of who knows more about Blood Bowl, but the guy who thinks that three blocks are, be are the best choice for Lizards, or Elliot and myself, but he said, less resources force you to keep every time the right decision to take the correct amount of risk. The gap between two players is emphasised with less resources. It's literally the dumbest take you can possibly have. <laughs> literally the worst. No, no, no offense to him, but it's just literally the worst take you can possibly have. <laughs> Hello, chicken. Completely and utterly incorrect. Bad storm's pretty good. Yeah, no, it's not the guy I was thinking of. There was a, there was a guy on there the other day who had some really wild <laughs> opinions about blood hole. <laughs> That's completely the incorrect take. A hundred million percent incorrect. I mean, it, it doesn't really bother me. I've, I've stopped posting. Uh, I've, just, I've made the conscious decision. To just yeah, we, we need to, like, back. <laughs> not touch the poop. <laughs> yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, I got, like, right on, like, Monday or Tuesday or whatever it was. And then I was just like, you know what? Like... Everyone, everyone who sounds like they're anything to do with the decision making seems like they've already made up their mind. So, yeah, yeah. exactly. That's the problem, right? They've yeah. had those ideas. It was, it was like Blood Bowl three, right? Like you know, when we saw the beta, we we knew that the underlying the underlying foundation was not going to change as much as they're going to try and like you I know shine yeah. it up real nice. The, that the fundamental the thing is, things though, aren't going to change with people. It it take <coughs> sorry, it actually takes. A lot of work, to be fair, to change those foundations, right? A blood bowl. Really. True, like, true. It's, e it's easier to change the rules, though, right? True, but they won't want to. <laughs> sure, sure. Yeah, I, I, I the got the impression that they're pretty made up on what they're doing. Stuff, yeah, so. I, I, I don't know. I'm, I'm like, I don't know. I'm, I'm not really playing, obviously. I'm not going dog in the fight, but I, I'm, and you know, I'm, don't get me wrong. I'm not saying. We well, should have video. Great. The thing is, is this rule set is going to shape. The rule sets for the whole year for loads of competitions. Spoiler alert: uh, I I won't be going to any competition. <laughs> <laughs> but, but you paint you painted your undead team anyway. <laughs> have, yeah, just got the bases to do. <laughs> um, but, uh, but yeah, I know. I, I like it, it's good they try different things. I know, like because it's it like you say. I guess the problem is that it's the big one, and that loads of places will now have this rule set, which we all know. Yeah. I guess the place for experimentation is in the smaller tournaments, really. But yeah. yeah. But this is my my point to it. I mean, is that, like we're probably getting well, like from what I hear, we're probably getting a new rule set next year anyway, which is naturally going to shake up the meta of any major competition anyway. So why not just celebrate the 2020 rules in what's probably going to be the last Euro Bowl we have that rule set, and like let people play like the most sort of balanced every race viable as possible because obviously it's not possible in blood bowl but and then next euro bowl the meta is going to be different anyway because there's going to be a new rule set and everyone's going to be playing something different yeah so it's, just, it's bizarre to do it for the last ever euro bowl the rule set to go mad and kill dark elves kill yeah. like who else was it who got really badly affected? Humans are kind of screwed. Chorfs, I mean, Chorfs, nobody played Chorfs in the last Euro Bowl, and all of a sudden there's loads <laughs> of people who really care about Chorfs, which is <laughs> rather weird to me, but still. And then, like, yeah, just Amazon's getting even stronger is madness. Like, if anyone needed that, like, a bit of a rain in, probably Amazon's. Yeah, it's, it's very like, strange. Mate, isn't it? Yeah, vampires. 
I think what what I think is like whoever's come up with this rule set must have got really annihilated by dark elves in Greece, <laughs> and they must have got like annihilated by like I don't know Norse or something stupid. So what are the, what are the big things? No more right. than four of the same skill in total, not even learn skills, and yeah. fifty k off the team spending. Yeah. Is there is there anything else? No, that's. that's uh, it. That's pretty much yeah. But like, it's pretty crazy, isn't it? It's pretty. It's pretty crazy for like your I'm like. It's so. It. It, it's not crazy. Like, it's obviously it's not crazy. But the thing that I think it's crazy. The reason that I think it's crazy is <clears throat> because eleven fifty and six skills is already like the barest of fucking bare bones That's amount fair. of shit if, you get. Yeah. And, and they're, going, to see they're cutting deeper than that. And it's fucking... I more think it's fucking rather weird. than less. Yeah, yeah there's, exactly loads, there's, there's loads of themes that just can't build to 1150. Yeah. Like Nurgle, Chaos, yeah. Horn, Knobs. Like... Oh! That was pretty good. I was going to try and surface Troll Slayer, right? I was going to push it to there. Then push it to there. And then... Oh, like yeah, push it to here, then push it to here, then blitz it, and then surf it. But now <laughs> I just want to go through here, don't I? This looks amazing. A larger shred. What, what do you mean by that? Shred. Spread. Oh, larger spread in races. Yeah, it's probably great because it's like they're all a bit shit, aren't they? <laughs> it's <laughs> yeah, and, and that's the thing that the Sorry. whole thing of like, oh, this is the uh, this is the idea of this rule set, and it it does exactly the opposite. Like, the the rule set, the proposed rule set, does literally the exact opposite of what they're saying they're trying to achieve from it. Which is just, well, I should move the ball first. No, fuck. Are we completely sure about that? Yeah. Yeah. I am. I am. Like, it's with exactly ten fifty, can't you just take or oh, eleven fifty? Can't you just take like? All the players, like, I don't know. 11.50? It's doing yeah. the opposite of what they're setting out to do. That, that like, that that's it. I think that's a fact. Well, what they're saying is they want to change the meta, right? And they don't want people playing Dark Elves. They don't want people playing Skaven. And is that what like, they said? They don't want people playing those teams? Uh, that's How not do you what stop it's... Skaven? When you don't. You, don't you give them less money, didn't you? That's what they're doing. They... But everybody gets. But I mean, just, just <laughs> exactly. Game. Everyone gets less money. It's so. It's so weird that like, it just doesn't do anything. <laughs> that's, that's the thing. What they're doing doesn't do anything. They're taking away. Like, oh, we want to make more choices, but you take away money. Like, every team has to spend about five hundred realistically on like linemen. Probably six hundred is a realistic yeah. baseline. You've already got a tiny amount of limit room. Like, everyone wants to buy all their positionals. Like, unless you're doing like a weird star player build. Like, everyone wants to buy all their positionals. So most teams are starting well, problem, from about 800 is, or 900 anyway. Like, it's just fucking is, weird, man. It's, it's weird. Just, like, but that's the, isn't that the point, though? Now we have to choose between what positions we take. Or <laughs> yeah. Or the or the issue kind of is, as well, is if they give all the teams more money, then there's loads of stars everywhere because they haven't banned any bloody stars. So it's like... Well, here's the, here's the thing, right, Elliot? Let's, mm -hmm. let's compete for a, a week, you and me, right? And... Uh, you get ten pound to spend on food. And, okay. And, um, and this is. <laughs> and I'm, I'm going to go ahead and, uh, right now and say food. this is a fucking terrible, terrible analogy. Holy and I get a thousand pound to spend on food. And let's see <laughs> who gets to make more choices. <laughs> Obviously, with more things, you get more choices. That's obvious. Yeah, I'm best everything. That's obvious that with more things you get more choices. Well, and not necessarily. Dark. What if we both had enough money to buy every single type of food there was? And then if you restrict the amount of money we have, then suddenly we have to choose between what type of food we have. We've still got food to choose anyway. We can't eat all the time. <laughs> what? We can't what? eat all the time, so we'd still have to choose, wouldn't we? Well, I mean, it's just completely fucking like going sideways to... <laughs> no. Yeah, like, yes. honestly, no, Nobility are just dead. Nobility are just dead. Corn are probably dead. Chorfs are dead anyway. And then you've got, um, like, Chaos and Nurgle. I mean, you, you're not going to see them anyway in any rule set, to be honest. So, that's fine. 
Yeah, you just listed a lot of like shit teams that are, you know, quotation marks dead in any pool set. Yeah, but then like humans, you can't even take a blodge catcher on humans. Like you have to take wrestle, side steppers and bollocks. So I don't know. Well, you don't do you? You just take a sneaky git catcher. That's that's snurty. Yeah, <laughs> sneaky git dirty player. Can catcher. you take snurty? You can, yeah, yeah, of course you can. Yeah, you just can't take a bribe, bribe if you have, yeah. uh, if you have, oh, right, yeah. if you have. But you can't, certain. you can't take block, <laughs> so mm. you might as well take sneaky get dirty player, right? It's like, you know what? I don't hate the sound of this at all. I <laughs> bet you don't. Yeah. I'm going there. I mean that's okay. Like it's okay. The thing, the, you know what I mean. I think there'd be more of an outcry from most table toppers if they said like make nine skills the base. Oh yeah, yeah. So, I like, prefer that direction for sure. If you were yeah. going to change things up, but yeah, I would. So from a purely personal, selfish standpoint, I I like it less because I think there's already not enough stuff. So I think people should have more stuff. <laughs> well, they can have black and white blow, and they can have sneaky get dirty player, can't they? Well, some people can, not everybody can. It's hard. To, it costs a lot to stack things, so it just makes. So again, that just makes like some <coughs> some some teams way better than others. Yeah. Uh, some teams can get snurt, snurty and mackle. <laughs> <laughs> can, oh, can, can any teams get a fuckle? <laughs> yeah, probably every team could get fuckle, but nobody wants fuckle. <laughs> <laughs> what about Hancock? <laughs> <laughs> Definitely not Hancock. <gasps> mm. Oh my god, nine skill vamps. Stackle! Stackle vamps! <laughs> Wait, what's fucking stackle? Sidestep tackle? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why he'd want that combination. <laughs> <laughs> This wrestle, yeah, it is, isn't it? Right, I can just stab, stab. it. Oh, oh, right. oh that's funny. That's fucking perfect. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four. Yeah, let's, not, let's not get based by a. Uh, diving, train. tackle. <laughs> diving, diving, catch, and tackle. Wait, what? Oh, wait, what? <laughs> <laughs> diving, catch. Oh, di right. Wait, what? <laughs> I'm confused. Oh, mate, with, with these stacks, though, like, Slan look incredible as well. Wait, what What stack? So, you can stack? What, can just, like, anybody stack or something? You can just stack, like, normal. So, it's, like, I think it's 14 SPP for a stack, right? So, because they all have an SPP allowance. So, like, some of the lower tier teams, like, and you can just stack as much as you want as well. There's no, like, limit on it. Okay. Like within the SPP, like the SPP is the limit. But it's, it still costs more for two skulls on one player than one skull on two players. It does, it's yeah, 14 yeah, yeah. It's done on SPPs, Elliot. Right, so it's eight so for usually the second. it's six and six. Okay, yeah, so it's like an extra two SPP. Yeah, but if you well, stack no, it's on an extra, one it's, person... It's, it's, yeah, and it's four less than normal. If right? you because stack on one person, you might as well stack on two because you three. can't... Three, you might as well stack on three. Yeah, because you can't yeah, yeah. get that SPP in. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, like, basically, yeah, you, you like... It's a it's third good. of a skill stack <coughs> instead of a full skill for a stack. Yeah. yeah. Once you stack once, you should be so you, you can just yeah go mad. Or you could stack once and then you get more money for the four you don't spend. Like I like that. I actually like the idea of like they could still just limit stacking, right? Or or, or somehow or the the stacks available and they could make the money a reason a, like a significant or impactful amount that you could trade for like only ten k. Like that could be 
15 or 20 or something like they could they, they could do things I quite like the SPP exchanging for money or exchanging SPP exchanging money for SPPs like I like that idea but the problem is that you're starting from such such a low value that it's, it's just crazy it just okay. takes away all all enjoyment and fun hey you wait <laughs> you wait for those uh, strip ball wrestle slam mate <laughs> <laughs> and also competitiveness because again, because now you've just got no tools which is bad isn't it like, there's obviously less skill involved if you've got if neither side has re-rolls and you know there's there's only 11 players a side it's just all down to dice isn't it but if you have re-rolls and positionals then all of a sudden like you know you can block with block and stuff and then there's less dice involved i can't believe that that guy said the opposite was true i've just spun a game of black box with my corn into a necro team and the guy has two fen zombies <laughs> fucking diced oh unbelievable oh, i should have had that witch out one all the shouldn't shit are you saying fen's op earlier because that's what <laughs> against <laughs> corn it's pretty op <laughs> <laughs> i just heard fen is op oh it's put them on the fucking sidelines just to taunt me <laughs> <laughs> Why are you playing corn? You know, corn is just so fun. I put them in like every squad every season because, like, like I put them in a squad every season just because they're so fun. The first game isn't fun. I mean, they, they, it, it's still fun. Like they're trash, but they, the first, corn, like, when people are like, this team is fun, it's like goblins or something. It's like okay, but you're losing all the time. But corn is actually actually fun, I think. But even though, yeah, you're losing all the time. Yeah, I love the design of the Although, 4 1 1 in NAS is cool. Just quite a oh. Highest place corn in NAS I mean, there's only two of us there. <laughs> <laughs> the other guy came like 200 or something. <laughs> <laughs> I really enjoyed corn after like the, fir the first two games, I didn't enjoy him. Like, what the hell was happening for that? I was like, the thing is, like, you just roll so many blocks. There's just so yeah, many one in nine. It's holy fuck. I, I rolled, I rolled like, I think it was five dub skulls in my first three games. Hmm. And like, and two of those dub skulls were with my big guy. And yeah, I know, should have made it three die, but it's just impossible. And it's yeah, just not got. possible. Yeah, and like, he literally cost me the game I lost because he double skulled twice in a row. Yeah, this is what I think they're going to change. I think they're going to change the tiering. Because that's the thing. Like, the ideas are okay. But, like, Blizzards and Dark Elves, well, it's not my cup of tea. So when I say the ideas are okay, spoilers or disclaimer, it's not my cup of tea. I don't really like the ideas. But <laughs> they are okay in terms of whatever. Um, but yeah, like drop lizards down to like tier three, drop dark elves down to like tier five, make Amazon's tier zero point or minus one or whatever, make undead tier zero. And like, there's, it's just they need a lot more tiers. I just hate, I just hate going down. I just hate, I should, they shouldn't go down any yeah. further. Uh, that's, yeah. that's, I will never be happy with it because they're going below what I think is an acceptable amount. So that's it, simple. I'll never be happy with it what? because I'm, they're not going to go to to what I find acceptable. I, yeah. I'm being quite positive about it, Triple Skull. I'm, 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 I'm on the side. It's these two that hate it. Um, but yeah, I, I, I agree with Jimmy's take that I'd like to see more rather than less, I think. Um, would be... Would be um, like going I guess down. <laughs> is that a Wahey Banter moment? Or what? Wahey Banter. He is moving to Leeds. No, I mean, Ek, Ek. Oh. Ek's moved to Leeds! No. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> He's he? moving oh. there. He's moving there. Most of it will be fixed soon. I get people dislike the less cash and skill. <laughs> Fucking kill on diving tackle, which is diving catch and tackle. <laughs> my, um, my, uh, my issue is the sneaky. Like, so star players, sneaky get dirty player. And everyone having tackle mighty blow. They're like more my issues than the. Wait, theory. so you're not bothered about the 
uh, yeah. l lower money and the poor, money, poor the money. thing. So, I'm not sure if I'm bothered about the money because at the moment I would just play undead and they don't give a shit about the money because they still build absolutely perfectly. Yeah. But yeah. if I was wanting to have a laugh and have fun, I couldn't take Imperial Nobility. I couldn't take Cor couldn't take Nurgle. I can like so the fun options are just disappearing, which is. Well, the really fun options weird. only for you. Every, everyone else takes those options yeah. and has Hathark. <laughs> yeah, well, yeah, but this is. Like, I mean, that's the main thing is because the whole rule set is supposed to be more fun. But by doing this rule set, all they're doing is making me go more try hard and just play undead. Like, so it's like it's just doing the opposite of what they're set out to do. I think. But yeah, I don't yeah. know. Yeah, it just like, failed. If you all make more time. shit teams viable then people are going to play what they want to play rather than what they feel they have to play. I mean, Eurobowl is Eurobowl, right? People are always going to play the best eight races that they think, regardless of how fun they find them or not fun they find them. They're there for a competition that they want to win, right? So, but like Europan, which is like the the people like really that make it, is like there are a lot of them are there for fun. And they're not going to have fun if they can't play their teams that they like because they don't get... Yeah. <clears throat> yeah. No. It's. I mean. I'm. I'm. I'm almost certainly not going to go now. Anyway. I'll. I'll go if somebody buys buys me a ticket and a hotel yeah. and spending money. So I'm. I'm probably not going to go anyway. But I was going to go to all the tournaments during the year. And if they're using the Euro Bowl rules, I probably won't go. And, uh, well, we got plenty. You got plenty of time to think about it yet, because it's the tickets ain't going to come out until like February, March, mm. and hopefully they've made changes yeah. in the, like suitable changes yeah. from now until then to make you. Like it just go. doesn't matter much to me anyway. That's what, that's what I'm saying. Like it doesn't really matter much to me. So like you know they can do it and they'll do what they want anyway. Like not that I could influence anyway. But even if I could, it doesn't matter, does it? Like it's it's not much to do with me apart from. But I just think it's wrong. I just think it's shit and wrong. I, like I just think that they they don't do what they set out to do with their thing, saying this is what we're trying to do. And I just think that the things they've done don't do that at all. Like I just yeah, think it's yeah, weird the that they think it does. And I think that random fucking yeah. fella in the Discord was just weird. He just said completely the opposite of what's true. It's just weird, isn't it? It's just like, weird that like, people think like that. I've stopped posting in that Discord because there's some very strange. Yeah. And like, yeah, it's, there's just no point talking to people. When they have like really weird opinions with real no like no real knowledge of the game or something. <laughs> but yeah, also to be fair, I've not like I've not read the rules myself or like really thought about them at all to be honest. So no, I can't really no. give a give a, a, a coherent take on them anyway. And I get most people don't care and stuff and even if they do care, like do you know what I mean, like people people think differently like most people like loads of people right like intelligent people that you'd think would know better um are just like convinced that 115 six skills is like pinnacle of blood ball like, there's no reason yeah. to think that it's just the way it's always been on tabletop like because of logistics and the first tournaments chose that like they would if you and if 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 they if they posted like a rules that had nine skills they'd all be like <laughs> you know like they'd be they'd be furious it's like it's just weird isn't it so I, you know I don't know yeah. you could tell PC isn't playing words on screen <laughs> 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 what because none of them are words <laughs> is that what you mean Oh dear. Oh dear me. <laughs> He's so good. <laughs> I mean, it's his job though, isn't it? Words. What, words on stream? No, like just words in general. Yeah. Mate, yeah, no numbers tournaments. Yeah, I'm not interested in them. I mean, to be fair, it was a million. A million skill a game was like two thousand and three or two thousand and four, and now and now the prices have gone up. Is that's how, like it? It went to one point one, didn't it? Because people wanted to win with Wood Elves, and Wood Elves dominated forever. <laughs> and then and then when the prices went up and everything, they just upped the money, but like because they didn't want to change. So you know, like <laughs> which is fair. Like it's fair, I, and I get not wanting to go lower than than at one one. I like I think one one is is about the bare minimum for me. But especially what it's exacerbated by the fact that Zon's going below 
one fifteen doesn't really matter to them, and and undead going below one fifteen doesn't really matter to them, and dwarves going below one fifteen doesn't matter to them, but it does matter to like dark elves and wood elves, etc. It's just weird, isn't it? I am here. Oh dear, hello. <laughs> Um, yeah, look, I, com I completely agree. We went to 1.15 because when we moved to the 2020, lots of teams couldn't build at 1.1, which was the pretty standard now. Um, it was just too long to type, Jim. That when you say that there's no real reason why it's six skills, and as I said, no number has been very successfully running a very a very tiered rule set with most teams very viable, giving pretty much eight skills, even to tier one teams. And yet, you know, people are still taking Nurgle and Corn and winning with them there. So... Yeah, I do think we can get out of the rut of six skills is the basic. However, there is some sort of substantial <laughs> logistical reasons as well. You know, people don't want too mm. many skill bands and to have to remember too many different skills on top of remembering what every race does. Because remember, they haven't really got time to look everything up or not everyone's played 10,000 games. So if you're marking more than, say, 10 skills on a team, it just gets a bit, a bit arse-achy. Oh yeah, I mean, I, I know, yeah, I know, I know that the log logistics is a completely valid reason for it, but it's like, as a rule set goes, it's just the opposite of the changes that I'd want. So I'm, I'm not going to like it, am I? No, <laughs> I'm not going to no, like it. They're making the opposite of the changes that I want, and I get that it's just my opinion. I'm not saying that I'm yeah, right about that. Yeah, they say they're making but... changes, but I think the changes they're making are, are in a poor direction. Mm. And I, and then, and I mean. I think they just are making them the wrong changes for the wrong... Like, you know, it's doing not what they wanted to do is the biggest yes. thing. And what they want to do isn't necessarily a good thing anyway. Yeah, it's. I don't agree with what they, what they want to do, but they're also just doing it wrong. <laughs> yeah, and yet, oddly, two types of wrong have not made a right. Mm. Just more wrong. Mm. He doesn't know that he hasn't ended the turn here, does he? No. Or it's, or it's, <laughs> or it's actually my turn, one of those two. Yeah. <laughs> I'm bad. Hello, Gozza. How you doing, mate? Hope you're... Ultimately, it'll all come out in the wash, won't it? Huh. I mean, there will be a rule set that will develop. I mean, I think the things that will get nerfed is some of the super stacks. Because yeah. right yeah, now, I'm humans rocking a tackle mighty blow backed up by a sneaky get dirty player is just going to run okay. through some teams. Mm. <laughs> 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 What a pointless waste of time. Skills of what? Always been 8 or 5 plus 2 for everyone though. Oh, were you talking about... Um... Uh, uh, no numbers. Yeah, I just saw two block mummies and was like, yeah, fuck that. <laughs> yeah, so uh, yeah. Like, that's the thing. If you have like limits like that, then obviously they favour certain people and stuff, don't they? Yeah. Oh my it's god. It's, it's so weird, weird though, because like, the fucking game favours certain people, right? It's like, yeah. we're all trying to yeah. dance around like making things slightly more balanced while still looking for them somewhat unbalanced. It's so weird, right? The ba yes. balancing in Blood Bowl is so weird. Both the original game and the NAF balancing. Yeah. You know? Yes. <laughs> Why did he do that? <laughs> this was actually really good. He could hand it off to somebody or he could go to the halfling and then he just did this. And also, we are... I mean, the, the thing that isn't often spoken about is the human element of we're in the hangover of a decade where, with the rules abandoned by Games Workshop, nothing much moved. There was a decade of dominance by people that really knew that rule set. At the time, we had a lot of flat, tiered, uh, non-tiered tournaments where people who knew what the top tier races were and how to build them properly could just dominate because, you know, they were getting the same amount of money and skills as, say, Chaos were. So, of course, Dark Elves were winning. And yeah. from there, Europe and principally Scandinavia started looking at all... Them. And although Joe Manji was doing the same sort of thing here, looking at all teams' viable ATV rule sets. And from there, the tiering system was grown. When I first started playing, and that wasn't that long ago, it was still reasonably common to have tournaments where you got, say, two skills for the first two games on, say, a six-gamer. Two more skills for games three and four, and then you, know, you got up to six skills for the final two games. Which is a whole different kind of building, because, you know, what sort of team can do well with that, starting with virtually none? Um, and yet other teams ended up obviously stronger towards the end of that. So we don't have to keep building this same way. I think what annoyed people about the latest Euro Bowl rules wasn't that they're necessarily different, but that it just seemed very quickly that quite a few races were going to be non-viable. So instead of encouraging any form of diversity, it was going to really limit it. You will get very quickly a you know very strong five or six teams developing, and the only questions were going to be which ones you added to those. Of 
quite what was that about. Oh my god, I've been muted. How long have I been muted for? Oh, yes. Oh my god, I was having full conversations. <laughs> Are we? <laughs> I thought I was I thought I was filling a gap <laughs> I was I was fully having a conversation. I was like, yes, exactly. It's <laughs> 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 Oh dear. I just literally said I'm gonna jump down this hole and then run there and then piss myself laughing and then nobody heard it. <laughs> oh shit. You did jump down the hole. I, oh my I wasn't god, impressed you, with that. I, shit, I wasn't paying attention. I you? wonder what I said, what the fuck's going on with that? <laughs> and that was probably what tweaked you that I hadn't realised you were doing it deliberately. Exactly, yeah, yeah, yeah. I see. Yeah. I was like, no one else is laughing. I was pissing myself laughing. <laughs> just jumped down the hole. <laughs> Oh shit! Oh well, never mind. Uh, yeah, I mostly just agreed with you anyway because you were being sensible. Um, yeah, but yeah, like I get the anyway. I was and I'm just repeating the same thing, you know. That like I, yeah. you know, I was. I'm not going to be happy with that because I want less variants, etc., etc. But but it, like the weird thing is the weirdest thing is it just not matching what they're saying that they want. Yeah. is the weirdest yeah. thing that they got so far away from what they were trying for. Um, yeah. Whether you agree with how they're trying to do what they do is is different, but they uh, like you know I don't know it's just weird. Like if yeah, mm. it's just weird. It's just weird anyway. It doesn't matter, does it? Very good. I'm not playing. Properly. And I've gone from excited and possibly putting myself forward for England captain, which I wasn't anyway because there's a better candidate than me, so I would rather back him. Good mm. um, <laughs> Well, in fact, there's two candidates, both of whom I think would be. Exceptional. I haven't looked since the maybe. Well, this is the rule set for you as well, because fucking goblins look mental. <laughs> <laughs> not the not the rule set for Dimmy though, because not the rule set for me. No, no. I, I think Yud's a, a lovely guy, smart guy. Would be a great. I hit non-playing captain possibly, which I think is an innovation we need. Um, and I think Dan is very smart too, very experienced. I think both would be very good. So. I'm not revealing just yet who I'm going to back. Yeah, honestly, I would like untiered just because then you would, it would like they could have gone untiered. You know what? When when the 2020 rules came out, they could have just gone untiered for like a month or two, right? And like got some yeah. data mm. about untiered. Got yeah. some raw data. That's what I would have suggested yeah. to every tournament organizer. Yeah. Anyway, uh, let's wrap up the YouTube video. Thanks for watching, everyone. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. Stay fantastic. <laughs>